Hi there. Well, today I'm just doing a short video as a follow-up to the Sonoff ZB Mini R2. And this is all about the use of MQTT as a connection protocol and also having a look at the detached mode. So as you can see, it's fully supported here with ZigBee to MQTT. Let's have a look at what's exposed. So first of all, we've got our relay state. Then we've got our power on behavior, and that can go to off, on, toggle, or previous mode. We've got this turbo mode, and this boosts the ZigBee radio, so you've got a wider field. Next, we've got delayed power on state, so effectively you can turn this on, and if power comes back on, it will delay the time before that specific light turns on. We've got this detached relay mode. So the way this works is effectively if we put it into detach mode, the switch is no longer going to affect the state of the relay at all. So if you've got a smart bulb, you can have that smart bulb permanently connected to power and controlling it directly. We've then got the external trigger mode. So these are the different modes that you can use depending on how you've rigged it up. So it might be that you're connecting it directly to an on off switch. It might be that you've got a uh, push button momentary switch would be the pulse, or you can use the following mode. It's also got this inching control. Inching control basically means that when you turn the switch off, the device will wait a certain time before it will actually turn off the relay. Finally, we can see here we've got our quality of signal strength brought through. So overall, this is a really successful Zigbee to MQTT integration and just amazing to see the amount of entities that are exposed compared to using the normal ZHA mode. So that's all for now. Catch up with you on the next one. Please like and subscribe. Bye for now.